again, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of Star Trek Online. This is Captain Ron Phillips here, and if you guys are unfamiliar with this screen, I am back on my Federation Fleet Admiral. It has been a long, long time since I've seen this screen, and I've seen this ship, my Narendra class, which is the alternate version of the Ambassador class, Tier 6 uh, support cruiser, the John Adams. It has been a long time since I looked at this. I, I'm just trying to remember what the devil I'm doing. <laughs> um, so what we're going to do is here, we had just finished the Klingon missions in um, New Frontiers and Gamma Quadrant, where we dealt with Zenkethi, where we dealt with Odo and the Dominion fighting off the Herc. Now we're on to... Discovery and the Discovery influence into the game here. And what I figure is, what we'll do is, Age of Discovery is pretty much a Starfleet simulation. So what we're going to do is, we're going to do the Discovery missions with um, my Federation uh, Admiral. And then when we're going to go to Ja'ula's Discovery, those ten episodes, we're going to go back to my Romulan character, Octavian in time for the Klingon Civil War when we will go back to the Klingon uh, uh, our uh, Phrygian Janos and then the Terran Gambit if once we get there will be again uh, we will go back to our Federation Admiral so for right now Age of Discovery we're gonna discover is it's supposed to be this new great big battle simulation lo and behold did they ever think that Jula was actually gonna pop up here um, so the plausibility of the possible here at Pryor's World. And you see Jason Isaacs there as uh, his character from Season 1 of Discovery. And uh, his security chief there. So, what do you say we get this going, guys? Starfleet Command has commissioned another historical tactical simulation. And they'd like you to evaluate it as soon as possible. Jaula and her agents were a force to be reckoned with during the war and were a direct influence on a number of critical events that took place then. This simulation will put you in the midst of one such event. I look forward to seeing your results. All right. So, we are right here, the plausibility of the possible at Pryor's World. Let's take a look, guys. Now entering the Pryor system. We picked up extra supplies at the last starbase for delivery here. The Shinano and Cicada are expecting us. We should probably deliver supplies to Shinano first, since she's closer. Alright, Helm, input the coordinates and rendezvous with our allies. This is the USS Cicada. Switch to frequency 228.7 to adjust for ion storm interference. This is the Shinano. Advise keeping shields up. Cloaked Klingon vessels are still testing our defenses. Let's do this quickly. Don't want our shields down for long. Thanks. Our supplies were low after retaking Pryor's world. One more assault and we would have been at critical levels in several key resources. I expect the Cicada is waiting for supplies too. I hope you have what they need. We have a bunch of hardware for them, Lieutenant. We're heading over to them now. shields now. We are ready to receive supplies. Engineering has confirmed that all expected hardware has been delivered. Thank you. We shall begin repairs at once. Our computer systems have received significant damage from Klingon assaults. I believe the Baran is waiting for you to report in, so I will keep you no longer. All right. Thank you, Lieutenant. The USS Baran. This is Commander Ellen Landry of the USS Baran. Welcome to Pryor's World. Where is Captain Lorca? The captain has requested that you transport over to the Baran to speak in person. Truth be told, 
We're not certain our hailing frequencies are completely secure. It's, um, it's a long story. Let's just say the Klingons had a few tricks up their sleeve during battle. All right, here we come. Uh, yeah. Nice to finally meet you face to face. I'm Captain Gabriel Lorca. Welcome to the Baran. This is my first officer, Commander Ellen Landry. Sorry to hear about Captain Schaefer. He was one of our best. Agreed. A damn fine captain. Though from what we've heard about what happened at Corvan, his ship's in good hands. Ah, and my somewhat tardy Chief of Security, Omna Patel. Uh, apologies, Captain. Welcome aboard. We appreciate the assistance. Engineering is this way, if you'll follow me. What took you so long? Ah, <sighs> you try booking a reception hall during prime wedding season. <laughs> I'm lucky to be alive. My warrior. Braver than a hundred Klingons. Kapla! We better catch up. Uh, before the captain throws us in the brig with the Klingons. We've been mopping up here after our scrap with the Klingons. The Klingons did not surrender Pryor's world lightly. Cleaning up the planet-based missile launchers was satisfying. The right. Baran is currently holding some Klingon prisoners of war. Prisoners we plan to deliver to a secure location before we ran into a snag. Lieutenant Kerwin, I have someone I'd like you to meet. Welcome aboard. Thanks for lending us a hand. Mind taking a look at something here? I'm analyzing some issues with the Baran's critical systems, and a fresh perspective might shed some light. Uh, what's happening, Lieutenant? Somehow the Klingons infected our computer systems with a particularly nasty virus during the battle. Another house Mokai trick by the looks of it. It's in several key systems. Sensors, shields, weapons. Ugh. Right now, we can't rely on any of those remaining at operational status. If they come back for a rematch, we could wind up blind and defenseless. Alright, let's see what I can do about the sensors. Excellent. We collected a lot of sensor data on their cloaking operations during the fight. It could give us an edge in future battles, but that's only if we have reliable sensors, which we currently do not. Hopefully, that's about to change. Well, let's see what we're dealing with. Scrub the sensors. Okay, looks like the virus is out of the sensors. Let's turn them on. virus came back when the sensors came up. Uh, let's try again. Alright. Let's tweak the firewall here. What the? We just lost port deflectors! Bridge to Captain. Klingon vessel decloaking. Lork at a bridge. I'm on my way. Captain, internal sensors show multiple Klingon transporter signals in your vicinity. All hands, repel borders. Get a bridge. We need those shields back. Do what you can to keep our port side away from the Klingons. Kerwin, I want you to head up there and give them a hand with the shields. Are we staying in engineering? No, I think it's time we went on the offensive. Landry, Patel, lead the way. All right. Chief, 
Get us to the armory. On it. Captain to sickbay, we have wounded on deck 17. We're on our way, Captain. Take one of these phaser rifles. We just finished modifications on them from data we gathered during the Prior's World fighting. <laughs> the Klingons are in for a little surprise. A well, nice work. Let me grab it. Bridge to Captain. The Klingons hit the brig and released their buddies. Looks like they're heading toward the shuttle bay. They're gonna make a break for it, sir. So it's a rescue operation. Look at a bridge, acknowledged. We're en route. To Pev, Landry, Patel, take the lead. Everyone else, you're with me. Let's move. On your six. Lost you there. Fortunately, the captain had other ideas. Nice shot back there. Glad you had our backs. We need to move. Can you stand? Mm. No, I'll manage. It's not as bad as it looks. This is the captain. Prepare the tractor beam, in case we fail. even in the door systems. I'll handle this. Bam! Got it! The cars of the track. We are preparing to depart the Varan. Prepare for our arrival. Not today. Not on my ship. Change your plan. Still there, Captain. Then we You'll have to get through me first. Lorca to bridge. The prisoners are secure. Give me a status report. Sir, the Klingon vessels just went under a cloak. They'll be back. Count on it. We need to get the Klingon prisoners secured. Unfortunately, our holding facilities here are compromised. Under the circumstances, I think we'll need to transfer the prisoners to your ship. All right, we're ready. I think you'll agree we can't risk dropping our shields to use the transporters. You'll have to take a shuttle. 
It's a little old-fashioned, but if the Klingons are here to rescue their people, they won't risk firing on you. Your ship, on the other hand, will be a target. Be ready for anything. All right, we'll be ready. All right, these Klingons wanted a ride in a shuttle. Load them up. My team will handle the prison transfer to your vessel. I'll have our security chief contact yours to sort out the details. All right. Excellent. Are you ready to finish boarding procedures and head out? Yep. Good. You made it. Afraid I have some bad news. We're picking up some photon decay heading our way. My people believe it's coming from cloaked Klingon vessels, and I'm inclined to agree. Get ready for a fight. All right. Battle stations, everybody. All ships, stay close and the attack. to Cicada. Move to support the Shinano. Acknowledged, Baran. Maneuvering to support position. You fight well, Starfleet. The wreck of your vessel will make a fire. Ships circle the wagons. Watch out for each other, and we'll get through this. Nice work, Captain. Looks like the Klingons aren't finished with us in Pryor's world. Glad you were in the neighborhood. Things could have gone pear-shaped if you weren't. I'll pass that along to Starfleet Command. I'm sure that'll look good in your after-action report. Might put a little dent in my sterling reputation, but I'll manage. That said, we're not out of the woods just yet. I'll let my first officer fill you in on the details. This is Landry. As you've seen, the Varan is needed here at Pryor's world. And her brig is no longer secure. I'm afraid your ship is gonna have to facilitate this prison transfer. All right, where's the destination? The destination is classified, I'm afraid. I have the coordinates in a secure device, which, with your permission, I'll bring aboard with my team. This is somewhat irregular, Commander. I don't disagree, Captain, but we're at war. Things have a tendency to get irregular in situations like this. Some of our prisoners are high-ranking members of the House Mokai. The secrets they know are important to the Klingons, even more so to Starfleet. We need to get them into a high-security facility as soon as we can. All right. I'd like to send Commander Landry and a team of you to assist on this. Call it a joint effort. But it's still your ship and your command. Agreed? All right. We'll make it happen. Oh, and one last thing. Landry's on loan. She's a damn fine officer and one of a kind. 
I do expect her back intact as soon as you're done, Captain. The shuttle, on the other hand, you can keep. We got plenty of those. <laughs> of course. We'll see you soon. John Adams out. Dell system. My team is on board, Captain. With your permission, I'll take the helm for this trip. I know the way, after all. All right, then. Take us out. We've arrived at the coordinates, Captain. We're being hailed. All right. Your presence in this system is unexpected. Transmit secure clearance codes now. Lord Vosker, we're here to... Await and transfer of codes. I should remind you that all of our defense systems are active, Captain. Vosker out. Did he just hang up on us? That he did, Captain. Shall I transmit the security clearance codes? It's that or navigating this defense core, huh? I suppose. Send the codes. Transmitting initial sequence now. Lieutenant Kerwin, begin beta security code transmission on my mark. Mark. I see they like the security protocols here. Very much so, Captain. Possibly more than they enjoy oxygen and comfortable socks. <clears throat> transmission complete. The station is hailing us now. Shall I put them through? Absolutely. You're cleared for approach. Proceed to the following coordinates and prepare for prisoner transfer via shuttlecraft. Vosker out. All right, Helm, proceed to the coordinates. There, prison in an asteroid. How original. Come on. A word, if you please. What's on your mind? It's about Warden Vosker. I've served with him before. And there are some things about his character you should be aware of. Which are? Serving here allows Vosker to use methods and practices that would not fly on a starship. Some of his morals are fluid, perhaps dangerously so. Look, I'm not sure what Starfleet Command knows about him, but he still has command of the facility. Permission to speak freely? All right. There are those in Starfleet who are more focused on results than the cost of achieving those results. Vosker is such a man. The Admiralty didn't order these prisoners here by chance. They want Vosker to get results by any means necessary. That doesn't work for me or Captain Lorca. The ends do not justify the means. I intend to make sure the price we pay here isn't too great. I don't want to look back on this day with regret, or worse. Very well. Thanks for the heads up. My team has the prisoners prepped for transfer. Are you ready to head to the facility? Let's go. Alyssa and the doctor. Sounds good to me. Welcome to Facility 2047. I'm Hadrian Vosker. Computer, update the log to finalize the transfer of prisoners to this facility. Authorization Vosker Sigma 9. We'll take it from here. A reminder, all data relating to this facility is classified. Now, if there's nothing else, I have a prison to run. Feel free to show yourselves out. A moment, Warden. Commander Landry would like a word. Thank you. Hadrian. It's been a long time. Well, not long enough. Was there anything of substance you wish to discuss, or are we done here? Warden, we want to ensure our prisoners are treated properly. As in, according to Starfleet regulations, Hadrian, not your own personal code of conduct. Listen, we don't have to like each other. In fact, I'm pretty sure that's an impossibility at this point. 
What we need to do is work together and upholding the ideals and laws of the Federation. Are you finished? Look, the Federation is the promise of a better future. I buy into that. Beautiful dream. People love to talk about it. What nobody wants to talk about are the hard choices it takes to make that dream come true. Every day, Klingons remind us, though. And we pay the price in blood, sweat, and tears. So unless you're ready to learn some hard truths, I suggest you return to your ship and move along. I think we need to see some of these hard truths, Commander. Yeah, why don't you show us everything you do here, Warden? Enlighten us. Show us how you're keeping the Federation safe from all enemies, foreign and domestic. Hey, we'll even take notes. We're ready when you are, Warden. Wonderful. The prisoners are being processed. I'm sure they're being treated well. Better than the Klingons treated the innocent civilians of Pryor's world, for example. If you'll follow me. Lead the way. Johnson, give me a status report. Wrapping it up now, sir. Medical scans and contraband search all came back in the green. Warden, there's increased comms from the Starfleet vessel stationed at Pryor's World. It sounds like there's another fight with the Klingons there. What's the situation? Are they re 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 requesting support? I'm uh, not sure. Sorry, the signal's garbage. Some sort of interference is breaking it up, and I'm just getting fragments. So far, it sounds like the trouble is on the planet's surface. Well, don't feel bad. My speech is garbled today, too, Lieutenant. So, the signal can be garbled all at once. Since, uh, I'm the one recording this, my speech is just as bad. You got any thoughts, Commander? We have our orders, and no distress signal is being sent. That being said, I'd feel a hell of a lot better if I were back on the Baran, Captain. I've got the feeling the Klingons are about to make another big push at Pryor's world. Understood. We'll get you back to the Baran as soon as we're done here. Fine. In the meantime, we have a job to do here. Johnson, put the Priority 2 prisoners into Genpa. I'll make sure our Priority 1 guest gets into MacSec where he belongs. Captain, Commander, let's get this over with. We're right behind you, Oscar. Got a nice cell waiting for you, Mokai. Move! I'm not sure leaving the prisoners here with him is wise, Commander. What are you hens clucking about back there? Just wondering what you have in mind for our prisoners, Adrian. Nothing the Admiralty hasn't authorized before. Johnson here. Operations reports a malfunction in primary systems and recommends a reboot. Johnson, contact engineering. And keep an eye on things until I'm finished. Oscar to engineering. The bridge to isolation is acting up. Fix it. Now. Fight. Now deal with these malfunctions. Understood, sir. Wait, what the... Sir, the primary deflector grid just went offline. Look out! Klingons! Johnson, initiate full lockdown! And get those shields back up, now! Johnson? Come in, Johnson! Damn, we've lost Cobb! They're coming. All right, let's get this over with. Ta check. <laughs> nice. Same to you. Haribach. Come on! Stupid piece of work, damn it! Problem, Hadrian? I can't get the bridge to extend. We need to think of an alternative. That didn't 
sound good. We need to get out of here right now. Since you've obviously forgotten, that is not how we operate. Whatever. Let's get moving. I'll get back. Okay, which way do we go then? I don't have time for this. If we can't put the prisoner in one of these cells, We'll have to take him back to processing. It's not ideal, but it'll do till we get things under control. All right. this guy quickly. Relax. His new home's right over here. And he's gonna be here a very long time. I believe you have something that belongs to me. A car will be leaving with me. He's not going anywhere, lady. I'm in a... Ha! You were saying, if only you had sheets to block our transporters. Our paths cross once again. If only I had the time to end you. Like I ended your captain. You two know each other? Try to die. Well, Ketris, draw the truth. Wonderful. Huh. Get this done if they keep shooting me. I can't get this done if they keep shooting me. Oh, oh. Yeah, well, it's kind of hard to deal with this.
I'd hold off on any celebrations. Long-range sensors are picking up a Klingon battle group, approaching at high warp. Without the turrets, they'll eventually knock our shields down and finish us off for good. Shit, it's only a matter of time. Any thoughts, Landry? Lieutenant Kerwin can get those turrets back online. We just need to buy him enough time to get the job done. Then we'll return to the ship and buy him that time. I mean, this isn't time for heroics. One ship against a Klingon fleet? That's suicide, and you know it. Now face it, we're done here. Let's get essential personnel to your ship and get the hell out of here while we're able. I'm not letting this facility or its prisoners fall. Captain, the turret grid just came back online. Wait, oh no, that's bad. The turrets are scanning for Starfleet vessels. They've been set to see them as targets. It's that damned virus. Lieutenant, I need you to get those turrets back on our side. It's just like what happened to Pryor's world. They turned our own defense grid against us, and then mopped up what was left after the chaos. We'll just have to stay close to the station and stay out of their crosshairs. How did a Klingon virus get into our system? Klingons didn't even know about this place until... Until we brought the prisoners aboard. Of course. Those clever bastards. It's a genetic sequencing virus. We did a full medical scan of the Klingon prisoners when we brought them aboard the Buran. And another one when they were brought aboard this facility. But... We never did a medical scan aboard my ship. Fortunately, or your ship would be dealing with the virus too. Somehow they've managed to embed it within the DNA of one or more of the prisoners. Uh, if we can identify the difference between the artificial and natural bases, we should be able to isolate the viral code and purge it from the system. Good work. How much time do you need? Maybe five minutes? Make it happen. Everyone else back to the... Sh uh, back to the shuttle. <clears throat> something in my throat there. Poor guy. Sorry, dude. I can't believe he got away. After all that we went through here, anything he does from here on out is on me. Don't blame yourself. You shouldn't beat yourself up for doing the right thing here. Besides, if we get him and Jaula, we can just pretend it was all part of the plan, right? That'll make for interesting reading of Starfleet Command. All right, all right. You win. But we still have a lot of work to do before, you know, we single-handedly end the war and get promoted to Fleet Admiral. So let's get up to your ship and go after them. Right, let's go. I don't know if that was a mock against me or what. Jaula to Tafib, attach! We have what we need. Leave the prison for the rest. Take to Schmidt! They go down! Mm -hmm. Captain, one of the Klingon vessels is hailing us. Tuh. Let's see what they want on screen. Starfleet vessel. You are outnumbered and unable to flee. If you wish your crew to survive, stand down and prepare to be boarded. Refuse, and we will give you all an honorable death. Request denied. A warrior's death, then. Good. I wouldn't have it any other way. Perhaps we will meet face to face in glory. Yeah, I guess so. Sorry, but I have to cut you off now.
battleship. Oh, lovely. Come on, baby, turn. Good news, Captain. Latest sensor reports show all Klingon vessels are either destroyed or retreating. I think we did it. All right, patch me through, Lieutenant Kerwin. Kerwin here. Captain, all systems are clear over here. Not reading any Klingon ships on sensors either. Did we do it? We did it, Lieutenant, but we couldn't have done it without you. Captain, if it's all the same to you, I recommend we retreat Lieutenant Kerwin and return to the Baran immediately. We haven't seen the last of Ja'ula and her forces, and there is a nasty digital virus still running wild in the Baran systems. Seeing as we have the solution to that little problem, I think it's high time we delivered it to Captain Lorca. Laying a course to the Duran once uh, Kerwin is aboard, everybody. Yep, yep. Can we fly into the prison? Yes. Interesting simulation, isn't it? I went through it myself. Some of it was rough to witness, considering the final fates of Captain Lorca and the crew of the Baran. Seeing them in action, fighting at their side, makes their sacrifices hit that much harder. I'm told the tactical research team is working on another simulation relating to the events that took place at Pryor's World. We might be in need of your services again soon. In the meantime, I suggest review of today's simulation. As Starfleet Command is fond of reminding me, you might be facing the real Jaula and her forces soon. Okie dokie. So we got energy dampening armor, pulse wave assault. Now we're good with defense. Alright. Alright guys, that was the plausibility of the possible there. I hope you enjoyed this episode here. Uh, introducing the discovery element into Star Trek. Uh, if you did, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, 
and hit that notification bell to be to be notified as soon as new content comes out. We just I just had a bunch of stuff come out for the Legend of Dragoon walkthrough today, and now we got this one on. Next episode, if they have it on here, I guess we're going to join back up with yep, the impossibility of reason. Ambushed by Klingon, survival seems a remote possibility on the desolate moon of the prior system. Yep. So that is our next mission there, Impossibility of Reason. So, thank you guys for joining me again, and I'm, I'm hoping you enjoy this uh, Discovery content. There are not many fans of Discovery. I have my own opinions of it, and I'm not as full-blown supportive of it as some people are, but I'm not full-blown hateful of it. There is a lot of good stuff in there. There's a lot of bad stuff in there. I'm not 50-50, but all it it's Star Trek, so... Everybody, every start, every every show, every franchise has their bad, has their has their good side and their bad side. You can't remake Next Generation no matter how much you try. You can't remake the original series no matter how much how much you try. And you definitely cannot remake Deep Space Nine no matter how much you try. Um, but um, just different people, different crew, different writers. I mean, we're so used to the the Star Trek from. Brandon Braga, Ronald Moore, Ira Stephen Bear, Michael Piller, Rick Berman, all through that there in the 80s, into the 90s and early 2000s, and then, of course, before the original series there with Roddenberry himself. Um, so, it's it's starting. It, 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 Discovery has its has its flaws, and it has its upticks there, you know. And same with all the other stuff, you know. Same, same with uh, Strange New Worlds, although that's starting to turn out real good. Picard had its first season. It had its stuff going on, so it happens all the time. I mean, even The Next Generation. Look at some of those episodes that came out in The Next Generation. Their first season. Oh, my God. And uh, almost I sometimes I can't even sit there and listen to some episodes in Deep Space Nine. They're those first two seasons when they bring cotton. And they were in print Kai Wynn and all them on there. I'm like, oh, with that. So, yeah, I'm, I'm babbling on there. So, anyway, guys, we'll see you next time. I hope you enjoy this, uh, how they bring in the Discovery element here. I'm kind of curious to see how the Discovery Klingons do in Star Trek Online. I really haven't experienced them too much. Um, so, yeah. Well, I can't wait to see you guys next time. I hope you enjoy this episode. This is Captain Ron Phillips signing off. I'll see you guys later. Take care, everybody.